after this but the main important thing here is this one okay this one we see now okay so come here right here just like like this okay i don't want all of them okay and see here yes okay so if you can see my screen clearly i'm making little bigger okay so what i'm doing ma just see uh for insert operation okay so the same thing description okay and i even i want to pass few more so for incident record so i will take one uh, caller id okay let's take a caller id of an employee so i'll take this caller id okay so he would be <clears throat> okay so what i did here is so see ma i was telling you right in glide record we have two standard structures one is okay going to the table getting the filter applied query it and then do some operation that is one thing and second thing here is okay maybe uh, i can print the number also let's see what number okay so i am here just going to the table initialize insert these two operations these two actions these two functions are to create a record on a table okay, i am taking a table called incident here okay if you take change then where change equal to glide record of change underscore request table initialize insert in between you pass the field names and field values okay field values it is a text field so i passed it using this code if it is a reference field i have passed this is id right you see in the structure my everyone everyone you copied this note so you got this particular script yes anyone yes, know here please confirm ma we can explain one more time Uh, sir here initialize will create a new record right uh, no it will not create okay. a new record okay it will be created until it will be inserted okay how it does is so <clears throat> that is a good question give me one second okay so let's say this is your incident table let's like uh, assume like this okay <clears throat> okay so this is your oops okay so this is your incident table okay let's say sys id okay and uh, number short description okay description and then something 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 okay category sub category whatever it is so there would be so many fields but we know them we know them right so state something like this then some 32 characters one okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then inc1 inc2 something like this will be there okay so you can say like you have so many records but now when you say initialize okay it goes see this one first line it go to incident table okay get incident into inc then <clears throat> you are initializing it initializing means you are taking a reservation here so the memory will allocate okay you block this row first okay when you block this row then it will start updating it so whatever you are passing it okay you are updating it here where is that <clears throat> so you kept this one here and you kept the other one here okay whatever it could be description short description okay and then you kept the caller id here caller id means what 
this is the idea of it as it is a reference field maybe color id is this one okay so you get everything here okay you reserved one space one row record one line and then you copied all of them whatever you are passing it from here okay and when it will be created means it will be created sorry whatever it is just don't don't see these things okay when it will be created means when you execute this particular action when you say insert dot insert then the actual update or create will happen until the time you are just using it okay so the initialize and this still this one so this is what it will do it will reserve one line keep everything one by one and then once you say insert then it will save the record <clears throat> you got it sir. got it right so that is where so if you don't if you pass everything initialize all the value but if you forget to keep this insert na after some time even though if you execute it will not create a new record here okay so this is the main important thing so now if i run it sir one second more can we pause one second yeah so what is the question can we method instead of uh, insert uh, it is telling uh, yeah it will create it uh, with the default values okay and uh, what if i want to pass some other value maybe that they didn't comment it here okay see here you are going to this one and then say just new record then it will be created so set value also you passed it. give me one second instead of thinking all of them why can't we run it because we are developers so this one you everyone got it right so you can see this incident also created right this is the incident i created and uh, you have seen this one i passed it this one i passed it this one i passed it three things okay but now if we see the other way as as sri devi garu told okay uh, inc dot new record okay let's run like this Thirty-six created. Good. That is working, ma. Sri Devi Garu. But it is taking the default. Uh huh. So, so the difference is the uh, new record will create a new sys ID and initialize just provide the space. Yeah, but the new record it's not created a record for me. See here, it just given me. But when I exit, when I search here, maybe. Oh, oops. Give me one second. no it didn't create a record see here i ran it okay see glide record of this one new record let's say it should create with the default at least then i say run it is it said incident dot insert incident dot insert is not required ma that's what they told see here they didn't use incident dot insert so let me write like this maybe as you suggested i never tried it so that is what I don't know. This is what you are telling now. Okay. Hmm. It looks like it is created now. Okay. Then. Uh, yeah. It is created, ma. So after insert, it is created, and uh, it created with the default values. And. Uh, I want to pass something here. Inc. Dot short underscore description equal to test for new record method. Okay, let me try this. So new record. Mm -hmm, it is created. Very good. Uh huh. So it is created and uh, yes, it got it. Then we need to know what is the difference between okay, initialize, initialize and new record in blind record. So, 
maybe if I understood this one now, what it is doing is like someone told who told me. So here initialize now it is creating an empty record means a space and then assigning the values. But new record now it will create a record and then pass the value. Something it is telling. But if I don't pass it, dot insert it is not creating. Okay. Check the mercy. Yes. Initialize create a empty record suitable for population before insert. Yes. New record creates a glide record. Uh -huh, I copy pasted it. Try these two scripts in the background. If you see the initialize gives you no value to open it. Whereas new record will give. But So glide record initialized and uh, open it get to display value open it okay ma so I am initializing it and printing at nothing I written okay good so it is not created it's a space that is initialized is a virtual space okay but uh, new record is created something and then uh -huh. so yeah I think it is a little clear what is the new record will do is it will create ma it will create the record okay but initialize now it will not create it will just allocate the space reserve it right now is that clear Yes, sir. Yes, others, everyone clear? Yes, no. Okay. So, okay, only concentrate on this part. Okay, if you are getting confused on new record, please ignore for some time. Okay. And please practice this part for now. When you are creating a record, when you want, if you want to create a record, Okay, you can initialize it, pass all the values and then insert it. Okay, so it reserves a space in the system as a row and then pass the values and finally insert a record. Okay, so this way at least you practice it and then later once you get 100% confident you can try this one. Okay.